Hello, my name is Artien. We are going to solve Saum's outline of electric circuit, which we will solve problem 4.35. And we are asked to find this I here by using Thevenon or Norton equivalent. So I will use this Thevenon equivalent. So this is the one that I will use here. And to find that, I will need to get open circuit open circuit voltage at AB. So I will need to take out this 27 ohm resistor and that will be equal to the 7 ohm. And then for number two we need to calculate the Tevenang equivalent resistance by turning off all independent sources. And then lastly, we need to draw the Tefanong equivalent. So Tefanong equivalent, and then and then do a simple analysis. Okay, let's do all three steps. So the first one, we need to calculate the open circuit value. Okay, let me copy the circuit and remove this 27 ohm resistance. Okay, now I have this circuit here to find the Tevenon voltage. So, to, to find VTH. Okay, VTH is just the value Right? And for this one, I will use this node here as our ground. So this voltage in the ground will equal to zero. And then we need to find this VA, right? And to find that VA, I will use this fact that this node is 200 volt from the ground. So I have this as 200 volt. And then what can we do here? We can just use uh, KCL at node A. So if this going to the node A and I will assume this going outside from node A, I will I can use KCL at node A, right? So we have KCL at node A. And KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The only current that goes in is this one, and that current is 200 minus VA, right? Minus VA, then divided by 47. Okay, and the current that goes out is this current here, which is VA divided by 97 okay now this number is not very good to work with so we need to multiply this by 47 multiplied by 24 right so for the left hand side i will have 24 multiplied by 200 minus pa and then on the right hand side, I will have 47 VA. And this will equal to 4800 minus 24 VA. And that will equal to 47 VA. 
So I will have what is it? is equal to 71 VA. and the value of VA will be this is very hard to calculate so I will result into my calculator okay this is my calculator So I'll have 60 67.61 67.61 And that this is VA from the ground But we need to find VA B Not VA to the ground so VAB means that we have VA minus VB, right? So I will have this value of A. So I'll have 67.61. And then if we take a look here, VB is 460 from the ground. So I'll have to plug that into this one. I will need to get this one. And I will get that VB, what is VB? VB will equal to, let's just use calculator again. Sixty seven point sixty one minus four hundred sixty. And that will equal to minus minus three nine two. And then what is the decimal point? Point thirty nine. Point thirty nine. And this is the Tefnol voltage. Okay, let's make it in the inside the box. So because this is an important value, and the next step will be to find or to find the Tefnol resistance. So this is done, and now we are looking for. Okay, now maybe I will need a new slide and I will need to copy this circuit. Okay, I have this circuit here to find find RTH. Okay, to find RTH, the first thing we need to do is turn off Sources. We have two here, two voltage source, this 200 volt and this 460 volt. And this is all a voltage source and turning off voltage source meaning that it will become short circuit. Right? And now let's draw short circuit here. Okay, so now the only thing we need to do is we find the equivalent resistance which is look for from the AB terminal. So at the X from here. And if we see here this is just 47 parallel with 27. So at the X is just 47 in parallel with and what does the equal to 47 multiplied by 27 divided by 47 plus 27 and for this maybe the old calculator will help so i have 47 multiplied by 7 that will equal to 1269 
1269 and divide it by Seven plus thirty-seven, and that will equal to seventy-four. And so from here, I will have this one divided by this one, and I will have seventeen point fifty. Okay, seventeen. Oh, okay. So now, what can we do next? So we already find the VTH and we already find the FTH. So now let's draw the defining equivalent and put the load again to the circuit. So the defining equivalent circuit. So I will have a voltage source. And then I will have a resistance which is parallel with the voltage source. And the resistor value is this one 17.15 ohm. And then for this one, I will have the load resistance because this is terminal A and this is 27 ohm. And this is terminal A. And we are asked to find this I, right? This I. But the voltage source value is this the value. Maybe I should copy and paste that one. Mm. Maybe this one. I just need this number here. is the voltage okay so now what can we do we just we just use Ohm's law to find I right so I is just minus 392.39 divided by 17.15 plus 27 or I just can do like this, right? As this one divided by 17 plus 27 is just 44. 4. Now let's just plug that into. So I have minus. Let's create all of this. Okay, I will have minus minus eight point eight eight. Eight point seven. Maybe this is just rounding error, or I don't know. But I don't think I make any mistakes in the calculation. And this is all the steps the we have done this is the final answer for I. maybe it's just some rounding error i don't know you should check okay thank you for watching and bye bye